Hey everybody, welcome back to Stream Man Guitars. Today is a mailbag day. Um, start with a um, a guy that contacted me through my channel, and he wanted to see if I wanted to use these things. And if I would do a review. Okay, these are crackle killers. And uh, what you do is you it's it's for the jacks, your your output jacks on your guitar, your input jacks on your amp that make all kind of noise whenever you move the jack. Um, Take the crackle out of your musical instrument, effects pedals, amplifiers, recording equipment. Quarter inch jack. Contains five, and what you do is you put them in. Do not rotate, just push it in, take it out, push it in, take it out, push it in. But that's what they look like. You see them in the light there. Crackle Killers. I don't have a guitar that has noisy jack right now, so that'll have to wait until that comes around. Next, I have a kit that I've been working on for some time now, and the kit. Um, came with an ill-fitted, <coughs> ill-fitted nut <coughs> and an ill-fitted or ill-cut nut slot. So I needed not myself to have this will be good, good foam for underneath uh, uh, pickups. Anyhow, I had to have under this solo box that you guys have been looking at for months now. I've got the, the neck, which as you can see, they let some rosewood there, you know, they cut it weird. So I had to sand it down. Now I have this aluminum block, which I can check for flatness. Which it looks like I did pretty good there. Of the uh, the end of the fingerboard where the nut goes, it looks like I nailed it. But uh, yeah, this this goes with that thing that up oh, with this thing that you've been seeing there. It's all oiled and uh, leveled and crowned and ready to rock and roll. It just needs to be put. I need to sand the body and. Get that back together. Let's see what we have here. I've been really into the uh, micro mesh. Uh, for the fret, fret polishing and for what I'm going to be sanding that body with. So I got some more of that. This, I think, is a fret file. There's a lot of uh, hubbub um, about this thing. It's a Baroque diamond fret file. It's all taped together and mean and nasty things. I heard a lot of good manners. It's sturdy feeling. I 
this wooden handle. It's got uh, three diamond files. You can see from the end. There's a fat one, medium, or small and medium. This was twenty-seven dollars. So I'm excited to see that work. It even comes with a trusty instruction manual and a nice case. I've been using these. But with the bent angle. I find myself taking off too much on the end of the frets, especially on the base side since that's, I'm right handed and that's the way I normally work. So I'm going to give this a whack. This one I ordered from Brett the Guru. gave me free shipping ended up being cheaper than buying it on Amazon. I'd rather buy it from the guy that invented it. This is going to be hard to open. Access. It's got a set of Chinese finger locks. It's a Fet Fret Guru Dagger 2.0. And they claim that uh, because of how fine the, uh, the filing is, that this actually works better than a diamond file and I, it, I feel that it fits my hand really well and it goes from medium large to extra large um, kind of a Stratocaster that we're going to try that out on. I'm going to keep that. Have fun with the grandkids. Okay, then I had to order from the Evil Empire because I've got two acoustic guitars that need fret level and crown. And when you do that, it's really hard to get a good result just by putting the guitar on the stand here. Because you need something that will support the neck. I need a garbage bag. So, yeah, these, if I bought, if I bought all this stuff, they gave me these three pack of strings for I think $9.99 through their Stu Max thing. And this is the, the rocker support that you need for your uh, acoustic guitar and also for your fixed, um, fixed neck or through neck is you have this. So the big one for acoustic, the small one for electric, where you can't take the neck off. I 
got a bunch of radius sanding blocks. Stratocaster that I have upstairs. And then this goes with these two things here for when you have a neck that you can take off, like, um, like a Strat or a Tele or an Ibanez or whatever, where you take the neck off and you don't want it to bow in the middle when you're trying to level the frets, uh, this lays in there. So that's what we have here. The rest of these are different uh, hardwood, I think maple, uh, radius sanding blocks. So don't need those right now. that I had to buy those from the Evil Empire because it's the only place you can get them that I know. Lastly but not leastly, we have I bought this stuff for a date I believe it was before Christmas. It doesn't say. But I saw that they had a sale and there was some stuff I needed to get. And since I paid for their Stu Max shipping, I get a discount. I figured out I would take advantage of that before the year ended. Uh, I can't even remember what I ordered. Looks like I just got two things. Yeah, I've got an ovation that I have to take the neck off of. So I've got these super thin pallets, pallet knives, to take the uh, neck off of. Needs a neck reset. And there's two sets of um, foam pickup height thingies with the double and the um, adhesive on the side for uh, jazz base and P base. So that's that. Oh, this is the, the tape dispenser. So I've got all my tape hanging up in the rafters. And uh, this will make things a whole lot easier. thin tape there, they go on here. So I don't waste tape. Taping off a fingerboard. That's actually pretty heavy duty. I thought it'd be plastic. So, okay. That's what we got from the Evil Empire. And I say Evil Empire because they do know who they are they know that they can charge top dollar for their stuff, some of their stuff. Um, my regular files um, and other tools like these, 
bars and uh, straight, uh, not straight edges. They come from other places like uh, Philadelphia Luthiers and so forth because they're half the price. They're priced where you know, they should be, you know? I'll definitely have, have to cover up the their logo with a, a sticker or something. So anyhow, that's our mail call for today. If you need your axe sharpened, you live in the greater Pittsburgh area, you can get me at stringmanguitars gmail.com. Hit me up on the Facebook page. And there's also a new uh, Facebook group that you could join through the page called Stringman Guitar and Friends, where I have a couple of uh, texts that are in the area that you know, people th can throw questions up there if they need uh, advice. And any one of us can answer the questions for you. So go ahead and join that group if you'd like. Otherwise, take care of yourself. Have a great day. It's beautiful outside in Pittsburgh.